What's going on guys, it is Swerve Phantom here and today we're going to be talking about the best defenseman builds early on in NHL 21 in the ASHL game mode. So as you can see here, I'm only a level 26, so a lot of people just get in the game, they're going to hop on the ice and they're not going to be that high of a level. Today I have two class setups that are going to work perfectly for those who are just getting started out. Most of the traits I'm going to show you are going to get before level 10 or 15, so a few games in you should be okay with one of these classes and they're going to be the best that you could possibly run early on in your ASHL career. So one of them is going to be more of a defensive player. He's going to be good in his own zone and not have a lot of offensive upside. The other one I'm going to show off is going to have a lot more two-way flexibility to be able to jump up on the rush and still get back and help your teammates in your own zone. So we'll start with the guy who's good defensively and he's going to be a two-way defenseman. So we'll start off here by making him and we're actually going to bump him up to 6-3 which is going to make the speed and acceleration go down but we'll make him 200 pounds and bring that right back. So Honestly, what we're getting here is some reach, be able to, to get in those poke checks along the walls. Those are going to be huge, especially in this game, to get ahead of the offensive player before he can make those passes into the middle. So the first trait we're going to go into is going to be Interceptor 1, and this is my favorite trait in the game just because for whatever reason, when you put it on, you not only get the defensive awareness, which in today's meta, that's going to be huge because the cross-crease forcing is back with a vengeance. So Interceptor 1, we're going to get 93 defensive awareness. So what we're going to do is be able to pick off any of those passes going through the middle hopefully sometimes we go through EA does that to us but 93 defensive awareness is almost as good as we can get it and we're gonna try to stop those passes going across also for whatever reason we're gonna get some agility so we get 86 agility so that's gonna be good for us making our turns coming out of the corners or even when you're up at the point in the offensive zone you'll be able to get out of the way of some of those defenders running at you not losing too much here a little bit of puck control but as a two-way defenseman, more of a sit-back guy, you don't need too much puck control. So we're going to head on into trait two, and we're going to build on our strengths. So this guy is mostly for locking down, for on the rush. When someone's going down the wall, especially in this game, you need to get a body on them because you need to be ahead of them. You can't let them make that pass in the middle. So that winger's coming down your half wall. We're going to put on strong man one to make sure that we have the strength to take him out before that offensive player gets anywhere. Especially if they're running a, a small 5-7 sniper build, this guy with 85 strength, you have the 76 body checking, that's enough to take any little guy off the puck, and that's going to be huge for this type of build. Also, we're only really losing some discipline and deking. Again, discipline you can handle on your own if you're not poking everybody's feet, if you're not making runs at kids, you should be okay with discipline. And deking, if you're deking as a 6-3 two-way defenseman, then you're in a pretty good spot to score anyway, so uh, making that a 71 is not going to kill your gameplay. Uh, with this class setup so to finish this off we're gonna put on stretch passer so really underrated trait in old uh, NHL games this year I, I did some of the testing they gave us online practice again and stretch passer actually works from shorter distances than you'd think so you can actually make a stretch pass quote unquote from the corner to the your defensive blue line and it counts so you're gonna get a little bit of extra speed extra accuracy it helps on breakouts and it's going to be great for this build because there's not much else especially early on that's gonna help out this class setup too much uh, rather than stretch passer. So overall, this two-way defenseman is more of a defensive-minded, reliable guy in his own zone. It's a great build for sixes. So if you're playing full 6v6 human games, you're not gonna get blown by by those speedy human forwards, the snipers, the danglers that like to come down the wing and try to dangle your shoes off. You're gonna be way better at getting a body on them, making sure they can't get by you and, and stopping them at the blue line before they get deep in your zone. Uh, a little con to this, it's going to be a bit slower. See, you only have the 83 speed, 84 acceleration. That's not going to be good enough to go up and down the ice. So you're not going to be able to get into a, a drag race with some of the players going up and down. You're just not going to catch up. So I would definitely recommend hanging back a little bit. Be the first one out of the offensive zone if, if things are going the other way. And make sure you're playing lockdown defensive style. But the 6'3", the 200 pounds, and the, the strongman makes it really easy. You have a long reach, good poke checks when they're coming into the zone. Make sure to get your body onto the offensive player before they can do anything with the puck and you'll have a great time shutting kids down with this build. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be the two-way forward. So what we're actually going to do is make a forward into a defenseman and this is going to be the one that's a little bit more apt to jumping up on the playoff. Offensively, obviously he's an offensive build so he's going to have a little bit of advantage in that regard and we're going to make him 5'11 and 192. So what we're doing here is we're really leaning into the speed 
the acceleration we're giving up a little bit of our body because in this build that's not our focus we're not trying to, to body any guys off the puck like the bigger two-way defenseman we're trying to use our stick wisely get in passing lanes and get the puck going the other way the first trait we're going to use is going to be again interceptor one like i said this trait is amazing why it gives you agility i have no idea but having a defenseman with 88 agility is going to make you do pirouettes up at the top of the offensive zone make sure to get away from those wingers that are trying to poke and go down on a breakaway also 91 defense awareness plenty of enough to cut off those passes going through the middle uh, which seems to be the the burden of this current generation of nhl 21 so make sure to have interceptor one on takes away from your puck control not too bad it's still an 81 so you'll be able to make those plays down the half wall if you jump up into the rush you'll be able to do a little bit with it and we'll move on to trait two uh i'm actually going to go with target slapper one so this is more for the, the players that like to take those big one-timers from the point, especially with a more offensive build here. Putting on target slapper one, you'll get that shot accuracy, the shot power, and you're only taking away from your passing. So 79 passing in this game is enough to get most things through. So giving you that extra oomph on your slap shot, on your one-timer to make sure that you can get those on net is going to help out the offense entirely. And again, we're going to go with stretch passer. It's a nice early unlock that a lot of people sleep on so make sure you get those passes out of the zone the breakout is one of the most important things of actual hockey and of eshl uh, hockey as well so to make sure we get those pucks out of the corners and up to our forwards we'll put on stretch passer this is the overall two-way forward build it's a lot more speedy back and forth you're not going to have that body rely on your stick make sure you have good poke checks to turn those pucks over and what this is good for is just like i said jumping up in the rush and but once you do that you have to be smart about it so this guy has the speed he has the acceleration to get back so if, if you see a two-on-one developing you're not out of the play with the bigger guy you're not going to have the speed to catch up to a couple of danglers going down on a two-on-one this guy has enough speed to catch most player builds in a pinch so this is ideal for less human player teams so if you're running twos or threes this is great for those types of builds just because you have the ability to jump up and help out your your ai forwards that aren't very good if you have a a teammate that likes to play offense and he's good at it and just needs some help this build is enough to jump up help him out and still get back so you're not getting burned the other way so this is a great hybrid build for any defenseman that wants to play defense to make sure you don't have computer defensemen ruining your life on the back end but can also step up and help out to put in some goals because we know how difficult it is to score on goalie ai sometimes also this guy has that solid one timer so if you're calling from passes from a computer defenseman point to point you'll be able to put those pucks on net hard and your teammates can, can clean up the rebound so overall this is a great two-way it says forward but it's a great defensive build because it has all the defensive traits as well as can step up and make some plays in the offensive end well guys thanks for checking out the video these are two defensive classes that you can use in eshl and nhl 21 that are great starting builds for low level defensemen that want to help out their teams and also jump up in the play offensively so if you liked the video be sure to leave a like give me a comment if you have any other suggestions on traits or builds that are better for defensemen i'd love to hear them in the comments and we will see you